Hi, I am going to tell about the importance of Brahmari. What is Brahmari? We have to produce a sound of female honeybee. So, what is the use of chanting this Brahmari? See, we have in our body generally natural vibration throughout our body. And if we chant Brahmari, then we are producing the artificial vibration. So, natural and artificial vibration merge together and, and it does wonders in our body. What is the wonders? In each and every minute nerves no, in our body will have the proper air circulation, heat circulation and blood circulation. So, when these three circulation is proper in our body, then we won't get any sickness or disease. Moreover, it activates the cell, each and every cell in the brain. So, the new cells will produce and old cell will get diffused. And if every time we chant, the new cells will give the very innovative thinking and it leads to a memory power, then it leads to intellectual. Okay, this is the benefits of Brahmari. How to chant Brahmari? Uh, select a good place and sit in Suhasana. If those who can't sit in the um, ground, they can use chair or some sofa or like that. But that back and neck should be erect. And you can use Prana Mutra. Prana Mutra is another factor I, wa I would like to say that it will generate oxygen in our body. Whenever you feel drowsy, whenever you feel like sleepy, just you can adopt Prana Mutra. Immediately it will generate oxygen and you will feel very fresh. How when we take coffee or tea, that psychologically will get one effect, right? Fresh effect. Like that we will get a very good effect by adopting Prana Mutra. Okay, by adopting this Prana Mutra, we are going to chant. This prana mutra, you should keep it on your lap. These two fingers should not come beyond this knee. Hope it's clear what I am keeping it on the lap. And these two fingers slightly elevated up. This is the condition of the prana mutra. Don't have the stiff mudras. Casually you adapt this. And close your eyes. Inhale with the both the nostrils and keep the tip of the tongue in the upper palate. Like this you have to keep in the upper palate. This tip of the tongue in the upper palate and close your mouth and you have to produce the sound. Okay. Now I am inhaling. Keeping the tip of the tongue in the upper palate. Closing the mouth. If the what you have inhaled is not sufficient enough, by keeping the tip of the tongue in the upper palate, after that also you can inhale. How long you can produce this sound, you can do it. It shows the um, breath control of your chest. Lungs ka, um, how much your um, breath control, your lungs have how much breath control, you can easily uh, test yourself. So, this is very good exercise. It comes under pranayama. Daily you can, if you daily do it morning and evening, you can prolong up to one minute. So, always you feel fresh and active. Okay. I hope this Brahmari is very, very useful to you. Thank you.